हेलो फ्रेंड्स सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन सो यू कैन सी माय वीडियोस फर्स्ट हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर सी द मैग्नेटिक फ्लोमीटर इन दिस वीडियो वी कवर व्हाट इज अ मैग्नेटिक फ्लोमीटर हाउ इट वर्क्स वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल एंड इट्स कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड एट लास्ट वी सी द फ्लोमीटर एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस देन लेट्स वी सी द मैग्नेटिक फ्लोमीटर also known as a magmeter or electromagnetic flowmeter as you see in my last video orifice flowmeter the orifice meter is a pressure based flowmeter same here magnetic flowmeter is a velocity based flowmeter this meter measures the velocity of the flowing conductive liquids which is passing through the pipe magnetic flowmeter is a volumetric flowmeter which measures the volumetric flow rate magnetic meter can measure properly when the liquid conductivity of the liquid is greater than approximately 5 micro siemens per centimeter that means this meter measures only that liquid that are electrical conductive these liquids are sand water slurry coal powder slurry sewage wood pump chemicals water other than distilled water in a large pipeline high viscous fluids especially in a food processing industries cryogenic fluids acidic fluids and caustic fluids these all liquids are measured by electromagnetic flowmeter but those liquids which have low electrical conductivity or have no electrical conductivity those liquids like deionized water boiler feed water or hydrocarbons cannot measure the flow through this meter because for these fluids this meter reads zero flow so to measure the flow through this meter fluid must be electrical conductive magnetic flow meter works on the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction principle faraday's law states that whenever a conductor moves with a velocity perpendicular to the magnetic field and emf is induced mutually perpendicular direction that means when a conductor here in our case conductor means over fluid which flow has to be measured so faraday's law says that when a conductor pass through a perpendicular means 90 degree magnetic field then emf will induced in the conductor and this induced voltage is also perpendicular to the flow of fluids and magnetic field now if we states the faraday's law in the form of mathematical form as whenever a conductor of length l moves with the velocity v to a magnetic field b and emf e is generated in the fluid that means generated voltage e proportional to magnetic flux density into length of the conductor into velocity of the fluid here conductor length mean distance between electrodes those are mounted on the pipe wall means this length equal to the pipe diameter so as per the faraday's law e proportional to vlv where e is equal to voltage generated into a conductor b is equal to magnetic flux density in weber per meter square l is equal to length of the conductor in meter distance between the electrode v is equal to velocity of the conductor in meter per second now using proportionality constant e is equal to k into blv this is equation number 1 we remember this equation now the volumetric flow rate q is equal to a into v where a is equal to cross sectional area of the fluid and v is equal to velocity of the fluid then q is equal to pi d square by 4 into v then from this term we get velocity v is equal to 4q by pi d square and we put this value in equation 1 then we get e is equal to 4k bq pi pi d and from this term we get q is equal to pi d into e by 4kb this is equation number 2 then as you see in equation number 2 here pipe dimensional d is constant magnetic flux density b 
is also constant then q proportional to e that means now finally volumetric flow rate q is proportional to induced voltage e and this induced voltage is proportional to velocity of the fluid because if the fluid velocity high then induced emf is e is high that means if flowing fluid velocity is increase then induced emf e will increase and induced emf e will increase then we can find volumetric flow because q proportional to e when we installed magnetic flow meter in a field that time during the configuration we have to enter the k factor that is a proportionality constant and sometimes vendor already configured this k factor in a magnetic flow meter sensor is mounted between the two flanges where we have to measure the flow if the process pipe is non metallic then we have to install grounding disc for grounding and potential balance and if the process pipe is metallic then grounding we are directly connect to the process pipe flange now let's see how this meter is works in a magnetic flow meter current is applied to wire coils to generate a magnetic field these coils are mounted within the meter body and outside of the pipe here pipe inside the flow meter is non metallic here the liquid flowing through the pipe act as a conductor and this induce a voltage which proportional to the average flow velocity this voltage is detected by the sensing electrodes which is mounted on a magnetic flow meter wall these electrodes sends a signal to a transmitter and transmitter as per the signal calculate the volumetric flow rate based on the pipe dimension in a magnetic flow meter fluid flowing through a pipe with a magnetic field passing perpendicular through this pipe here the liquid flowing through the pipe act as a conductor and this induce a voltage which is proportional to the average flow velocity to measure this generated voltage two stainless steel electrodes are mounted opposite to each other on the pipe wall these two electrodes are connected to the advanced electronic circuit and this circuit calculates the volumetric flow rate of the liquid now let's see the magnetic flow meter advantages and disadvantages advantages there are numerous benefits to using electromagnetic flow meters then we see some advantages here there is no any obstruction in the magnetic flow meter so there is no pressure loss practically for volumetric flow measurement this meter is unaffected by variation in the density viscosity pressure and temperature next this flow meter is a bidirectional but you have to configure it whenever you have to use upward or reverse direction magnetic flow meter do not require much upstream and downstream straight run so they can be installed in relatively short meter runs magnetic flow meter typically require 3 to 5 diameters of upstream straight run and 1 to 3 diameters of downstream straight run measured from the magnetic flow meter mostly the magnetic flow meter used for acid base and water flow measurement despite these advantages flow meter also presents certain difficulties for a flow rate measurement first one these flow meters are only measure those liquid which have electrical conductivity greater than 5 micro siemens or 10 micro siemens that means fluid with low conductivity like deionized water hydrocarbons flow cannot measure through this meter this meter is very expensive device for measuring the flow pipe must run full at all time depending on their size and capacity magnetic flow meter can be relatively heavy 